It's time for tea and it's time to spill some tea on Plus TV Africa. Welcome to Tea Time where we we'll discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I'm here with Ewa Uluwa Witsu <laughs> and Ifeol oh, no. Beniak. <laughs> It's alright. <laughs> it's time for tea, and it's time for us to spill some tea. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. So starting with um, Omashola, um, he has. He's, you know him from BB Ninja anyway, in case you don't know who Omashola is. He has advised suicidal people camping in his DM to rethink their plans. So we have a video on that. Let's have a quick look before we discuss. People always send me DM and um, messages, private messages, telling me, say, they won't kill themselves. People are calm down. What do they do now? Everybody, I don't understand what they do now. This comes, you know, say, um, I don't receive message, not be one, not be two, not be three. To be honest, I don't receive literally like four messages. I feel pissed them, I probably just pissed them on and see all these messages. If people send me messages, say that they, they won't kill themselves. I've been inspiring. I've been talking to them and, um, you know, and I try my best, but, I know I post all those things, make people know if you say it's okay for you to kill yourself. You understand? And if you won't kill yourself, why don't they always bring the thing come with me? Like, I don't know if they do and say I look like pastor or I look like a. It's a good thing, say you come to me. And it's a good thing, say I feel even address the matter, say, okay, man, I'm not killing myself. But why you won't kill yourself? Life is sweet now, not the mad. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the last part was probably unnecessary. For me, that's, that was between motivating people and nonsense, okay. to be honest. Mm -hmm. Maybe he had something to say, but it just didn't come out right. For me, mm -hmm. it just didn't come out. I mean, depression is real. And some people prefer to talk to strangers or people that they look up to than friends and family. But let's be real here. Those people in his DM are not depressed. They just want to call him money. We never can tell. Mm. Was, okay, no, so, for real, we never so, can tell. Before you call me, let me agree that they may be depressed. And this is why we now have to talk about how to get proper help when you are facing depression or you think you want to but take you know, your life. But you know, for me, yeah, I feel I like think you, you can always... try to see a psychologist. Oh, that's... Your favorite celebrity cannot help you. Right. We cannot put that burden on them because they are not straight no, okay, for that. I'm not saying... That's why I said maybe he had something to say, mm -hmm. but it didn't just come out right. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you can always ignore these messages. Or you address it that get proper help. I can't help you. Mm. Instead of coming to say, and are they mad? Like, oh, you say, know that's like, how say, for, they no, there's some situations that you don't say stuff like no, that's how I feel. There's some situations that you just don't say stuff like that. I mean, other people are involved. It's not just about you mm. or somebody else. I mean, we're talking about depression. Okay. It would, it, I mean, it should have handled this carry better. On, Benny. I'm going to go with Elsie on this. Mm. So, uh, if I am depressed, I'm not looking for a celebrity. I'm looking for a mental health expert. Those people who slide into Omotola's um, DM mm. are trying to exploit him. <laughs> wow. uh, why would you? Um, the last time I checked, he's just, he was just an housemate from the Pepper Them Gang, Big Brother, Big Brother Nigeria. So why would I want to go talk about my mental state of health with Omashola? They're trying to extort him, trying to get money from him. Again, that is not to say depression and mental health issues are not real. Mm. And so for those who really go through it, you talk to experts. Look for experts around to talk to or look for close family, friends, members you can confide in and not a total stranger. I've had situations where I was really bothered mm. and the last person I wanted to talk to was a stranger. I wanted to talk to people, someone who was close to me, who knows me and will believe me for what I'm saying. Okay, I can just imagine a total stranger sliding into my DM and telling me I want to kill myself. Hey, go ahead and do it. I mean, hello. But um, you know, I'm, 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 maybe I'm not saying it the way you guys yeah. are saying it. Well, but maybe I mean that you would not, just maybe you would not especially say go ahead. No, I wouldn't. Uh, yourself, that's it. Right? You know, so if you time have is, the time, the that's another thing. If you, you have the time, you will listen. I will listen to you. Then the, the on but the, are you on obligated the to? And then what else are you asking me for again? You can tell a genuine case. If someone tells you they're mentally depressed and mm. the next thing they start asking you for money. But he didn't mention anything about no, them saying, asking him for no, money. No, I'm just saying. Somebody tells you I'm mentally depressed, I'm having suicidal thoughts, and after all of that, they're not telling you, you know what, I need money. You know that person is just trying That's to extort you. But someone would have, you can tell a real situation from a fake one. But I mean, so in a martial arts video, he didn't kind of mention person, anything like... Listen to them, mm. give a little advice, and tell them, you know what, if you need help, I can help you get help. 
All right. So Amashala probably didn't express himself fully to that's, the content of what was said point. to his DM. Mm -hmm. But people will know there are a lot of people, social media extortionists who are out there just trying to extort mm. people. We can't totally erase that fact. Well, but what, what I am saying is I agree with what you're saying that mm. she, he could have said it in a better way. I mean, I don't, I don't have any problem with him coming out. In fact, I don't have any problem with him coming out to say, please don't come to me with your depression story. Maybe I'm not even okay myself to handle it. No, but yes, it's I mean, in the house that it's not okay. I'm yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay. it, it, it could have, it's something that I would have just said that instead of putting the I mean, he said a lot that of okay, so he stuff said, that he said it just... in the house that he has mental health oh, yeah, issues. Oh, okay, that, that, okay. that I'm 38, I'm not married, I'm not this, uh -huh. I'm not okay. He said he said it's everything that he himself is not okay. But well, he so could be saying you... uh, the, I'm not okay in the context of a worry boy. Just you know, saying, that, I'm not that he has mental health. He speak up for a pigeon tie. See, I know well. So, okay, so, okay, so, so now why these people are... They, they feel that he can relate to their issues yes, but and they want to be in his DM. <laughs> and all I'm saying is, I'm not even about him being right or communicating or not communicating. All I'm saying is, if you're in his DM or mm. you're watching us right now and you have mental health issues or you think you're depressed and you mm. need to talk to someone, you're a celebrity. In fact, me as an anchor on this show, I'm not the right person for you to slide into my DM mm. to talk to. Get proper help. Go okay. to... I know we make joke of Yaba left, but I'm sorry, that's where they are. The, 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 we have affordable Don't psychologists psych psych there. Psych and it's not as bad it. as people make it seem over there. Mm. And to be honest with you, it's as simple as seeing a therapist for assessment for borderline personality. It could just be a borderline personality You could just be disorder. tired and want to talk. You know, just go for a session. And that's okay. But my point is, we on this point. story, oh, yeah. to on this, this message, story, people, Marshall didn't, didn't sound right DM, at it's, all. It's, that's a typical But that's Marshall what Marshall is. You can't people say, people okay, people because that's... Like, did you watch him in the house? Hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Because I'm me, mm -hmm. and then I just like to, you know, say stuff at people, and then that's just me. What you want and to I, do? Hold on, and I see, see there's some issues that you can't just say, this is me. But you cannot tell a martial art to box, him, box himself into being somebody he's not because he wants to But you know, he can pass that people. message in his worry way and not still sound so Maybe funny. He needs to come that's what, for that's, a coaching. That's what he no, 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 he doesn't need to come for this a coaching. He just needs to speak is. right. Yeah, well, that's, that's it. That's, what he that's how he speaks. He, 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 uh, no. don't, don't come to me, I mean, at the mat. <laughs> Okay. That? Can you, if break, truly yeah. they are depressed, how can you tell them you're not in not they mad? That's Life is sweet way. for you. You don't know what other people are going through. That is his worry way. That's uh, a worry way of cheating. Well, sorry, your worry way came out wrong. Uh, worry people are coming for you, but it's time for a quick break. And when yeah, we come welcome. back, we we'll definitely have more conversation. <laughs> so we'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, what? Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Story up for conversation now is on Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats. Um, they, pre they present a case study of their lives in Harvard. The power couple was at Harvard Business School to stage a presentation about the success of their personal and professional partnership. The professor created three cases, three case studies, one on Alicia Keys, one for Swiss, and one on both of them. So um, I think she shared this on Instagram, right? Yeah. I think Beautiful. this is a good Beautiful, thing. Beautiful, man. Imagine. Yeah. Well, Alicia Keys and Swiss Beast, they're, they're one of the powerful um, Hollywood couples they have in America. They're a very powerful couple. Mm -hmm. And to have have a university use them as a case study, Alicia's life was dissected apart. Swiss Beast's life was dissected apart. Mm -hmm. And then their business life and their being together was also a case study. It's, for me, uh, I, see, I see them, people say couple goals. 
you know, but in my mind, like, okay, is, is, there, is there an undertone? Is there something else we don't know about Swiss Beats and mm -hmm. Alicia Keys mm -hmm. in private? But if you see them together, they're lovely, they're, they're powerful together, um, and we've not heard of anything scandalous about both of them individually and together, and it's just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. So imagine your life being used mm. as a case study. And your life to witness it. Yeah. Mm. That's just great. And that should be the real goal, actually. Oh, yes. Because um, I know when it comes to marriage and partnerships, a lot of people are of the opinion that you cannot merge both together, that it won't work. Mm. I think it was on this table that Ife was saying Ife something was, yeah, about, mm. oh, your your manager or your, any, actually as an artist, that whoever is in that team family, yeah. cannot mm. be part of your business. And I was oh, trying really? to say... It can work if, if they are good people and yeah. are matured enough to make mm -hmm. it work. And I'm happy that someone like Alicia Keys and um, Swiss, Swiss they are yeah, proving and me and right For me, right I hope this just get published so we can read it mm -hmm. and, you know, pick some lessons from it. Yeah. yeah. I hope so, too. I think I, I'm looking forward to that mm -hmm. one. So congratulations to them. And this is a milestone worth celebrating. So I'm yeah. sure they'll celebrate. Definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to the next story that I'm going to laugh so hard on. Bonaboy <laughs> withdrew from Africa's Unite concert in South Africa, and guess what? The show has been cancelled. Following various threats of violence, the highly publicized anti-xenophobia concert had to be cancelled after Bonaboy withdrew from the concert. The concert organizers, Fambili Media and Play Network confirmed that after engagement with Bonaboy's management and decision to withdraw his name from the lineup, they had no choice than to really cancel. Mm. So, um, AKA. I'm happy but not canceled. <laughs> no, to be honest. No, no, his canceling is not the funny part for me. He, okay. uh, the interesting part for me is that his canceling had to lead to a decision to cancel the show. So, mm. who is really the African giant right now? Yes. I mean, there were but, other reasons, but. Again, but... Th there was a beyond, beyond Bonaboy, mm. there was a cogent reason of not being able yeah. to guarantee security, security of lives. Yeah. Um, the concert was meant to take place in two cities in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And so the organizers said they couldn't get the South African Security Authority to guarantee the safety of people's lives. So, I mean, there were threats also, that the government yeah, there were were threats also. And also with Bonner's withdrawal, all of that just, just added up to the reason why, you know what, the African United Against Xenophobia. I'll pretend like I didn't hear you. This was because <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to have that show. You just want it to be about no, Bonner's Bonner, 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 yeah. Oh, the show of that reasons. magnitude, yeah. and you've been promoting it, there's been conversations online, before all that, you should have had this conversation with the South African police or whatever, 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 before you got to this point. So please. No, 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 no. You, well, that, you could just be, that could be another reason they just put in thought to, to say, you know, because for sure of that magnitude, Bernard's withdrawal cannot just be a reason, the, the complete reason why the show will not go on, because the show is beyond Bonner. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's Africa uniting to, mm. to kick and speak against xenophobia. But if it makes us feel good that makes Bonner's withdrawal... Oh, no, if it makes you feel... I mean, for me, I'm super excited that I had to cancel, because to be honest, we don't know what's waiting for him there. People can push you on social media and say, oh, African giant, go there, go there. If anything happens, I mean, it's only Bonner boy that will feel it. Everybody mm -hmm. else will just come back to social media and say, sorry, Bonner boy, we love you. I'm Do you think if Bonner boy had got there, anything would happen to him? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. We I never can tell. On a lighter note, mm -hmm. there was a tweet from Teddy mm -hmm. responding to a fan's question. <laughs> if she was... <laughs> If she was going to go okay, to South Africa. Okay, this is what the said. Yes. Um, when are you coming to South Africa? She said, okay, we have it on the screen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's Bonaboy well, go and well, come confess. back. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll have that conversation. I mean, All that the is the right tweet there. of the day. It has over 14,000 likes yeah. already. But then I hope AK does not have any plan of coming to Nigeria. But why? Is, is that all we're trying to do? I like think to if, kick he, again? if he comes, no, I, I don't no, think I, we'll... No, it's not about me yet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even have any problem. Of course, he cannot him. do a solo, sh a solo show or be the headliner of a show mm. like what Stefan Dunn did um, over the weekend. He's not she that was big a headliner, here, right? He's and not that big. No, he, we we used here. to love him. Yeah. I mean, he had a collaboration with Bonner Boy Bonner, that was yeah, so yeah, big. That was and Nigeria loved him. But right now... A Bonner Boy can go to South Africa and have a solo show. And AKA cannot come to Nigeria and have a solo show. He's not that True. big here. Bonner is bigger than, than AK in the African continent. Okay, but before, 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 <laughs> this, before this drama, yeah. right, it's Teflon Don and, yeah. and AKA. Mm. Who would you say is bigger? Before this whole drama. But Teflon Don came to Nigeria and had a show, and I was there. That How show was filled up. How successful was the show? 
It was. By the time she came out, how many people were still left? Now, at, the, at the issue, venue? we didn't have the time to okay. speak about that show. Yeah. Mm. But that show was a flop, not because people did not attend or yeah. people did not turn out, yeah. but because of the organizers. They had serious mm. issues. Steph London was ready to be on stage. If you're following her stories, she was ready to say at about 8, 9 p.m. She was ready. Before and they kept her till about, about 3 a.m. about 3 a.m. So I mean, I'm sure she's just not sure ready to come out to speak about Nigeria it. needs to do better. You Every know. single time you go for a show, you have to wait about four hours before the... This one was not four hours. So the show was <laughs> 6 p.m. And 3, 3 a.m. Calculate it. That's like 12 hours or how many? I mean, you want to stay out the... 3 a.m. for what? <laughs> so um, the question now is, can AKA actually have a solution a show. or even headline a show? Let, nope. let, let, let the viewers decide and send us tweets and mm. show that. I, I don't think he has the capacity. I don't think he yeah, would. I don't, I don't think, think he, he would do that. Okay, um, moving on to another story, which is on Halima Abubakar, who shares a video of what she went through a year ago with her face. Um, she said that she is no longer bothered about social media police and what they will say. She said the skin condition made her not trust people around her. It's all good for you guys. Why you are busy cyberbullying? She said that happened to her last year, yeah. mm. and I, I'm, I don't follow her that much, but I don't think she showed the before and after, right? This is just what we have, mm. and we don't know what her face looks like now, but I think she has gotten over it a bit, like... It's better. Okay, so I, mean, um, I think she put this video out there because people came on um, to accuse her of bleaching. bleaching. And, and she agreed that she's bleaching. That she's bleaching. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I get where she's coming from. I understand why she put this video out there. Because, um, I mean, who does not break out? Mm -hmm. Everybody does. Yes, of and course. And when you use this face cream, and no, maybe not bleaching. So that, that just wasn't a breakout. That is a major breakout. Mm, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for all for all that to go, you have to yeah. use things to, you know, treat it. And mm. all those things just makes you like So that. are you saying I think that was the reason she started bleaching? Well, I'm not saying that's the reason, but I'm just saying it's, maybe that's, that's the reason like. why she put this video out there for people to understand that she had, she had to go through something before she started. Well, maybe I've had, I had, sorry to cut you, I've mm. had um, close people um, with serious face reaction, like um, female friends, serious face reactions. Mm. And they didn't have to change their color to get better. So if that is well, what she thinks this is going to be, and she does, I like that she owned the fact that she's bleaching. The way she responded, we didn't get to speak about that, but I don't think we have that screenshot. She said, "I'm doing it." Case closed. Like mm. there's a way she, there, I could feel the confidence in what she's doing, and that's just what I need. I cannot tell you what to do with your life, but if you're doing it, don't make us feel stupid or make us feel like we don't know what we're saying. So that is fine. For her to share this, I'm hoping that she was just trying to really tell social media bullies that they don't have anything on her anymore. Mm. and that she she on because she was saying she she couldn't trust people at that time that she had to stay away from a lot of people and she was feeling so bad right mm. and all that i hope she just wants to encourage herself and encourage okay. others but if yeah. it's an excuse to bleach in i'm not buying that I'm but sorry. we have a write-up from from her actually i think it should be where on, on social on social media twitter this is mm -hmm. twitter or instagram instagram you okay want, so she said to post the video today without shame or afraid of being ridiculed um she woke up july last year to this i don't need any pity because some of you think you can break me i own my whatever i lost friends <laughs> lover and was devastated but this was last year only few people knew yeah this was what she posted with the video i saw it so so yeah. i guess she's better for it now mm -hmm. and her face has improved but i don't think it's possible that there, 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 there would have been a process she'd have gone through to take care of her skin maybe chemical peel mm -hmm. and it's not possible for you to go through a chemical peel without a layer of your skin being bleached mm -hmm. And so I mean, mm. the bleaching is part of the process. Mm -hmm. What me I'm concerned about here is the bullying she would have received from fans she and social media. Out at yeah, that's it. And people mm. should people should allow people be. People go through stuff in life, you know. And um, social bullying, making people feel ashamed of their body, um, body shaming. She mm. must have gone through all of that, and that that could have been a very worse period for her in her life. You know, not everybody can actually take it and come mm. alive. Some people would just go into a state of depression and that's a suicide. We talked about yeah. it some time ago. I like how uh, she took it off social yeah. media and so, dealt with it before bringing it to social media. It. So um, whatever she, she's done to make herself feel confident and, and improve her self-esteem and self-worth, I don't think anybody should come after her for that because mm. 
it's alive and mm. she's doing the best to, I mean, to make it better. She's really she's a really strong woman because if you go try Instagram, people are always bashing on you're bleaching, you're bleaching. She's not even asking you for money to buy this cream. What is your business? Mm. Every this is why I like day. that she came out to say, yes, I'm bleaching. So what is the problem? What next? So <laughs> I, do you understand what else are you going to say to me mm. for this? So I'm happy for her. And, um, and then, I mean, I, can't I, hope, even really imagine. <laughs> I hope people will just pick something from her and embrace your body the way mm. it is. People will talk. People will always talk. But yeah, we'll but if you can make you. some... Bodily improvement also, and those who want to do it should yeah, do it. Yeah, of course. Do it. That's and like, for those who finally decide to accept themselves the way they are, mm. it's it's a good thing. And for those who want, you know, I don't like how I look here, I want to well, improve myself. Well, you put the way she was, right? That's like a reaction. Mm. A, yes. A skin condition. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and then she had to take care of herself. Mm. Okay, so that's our wrap of this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And you can join the conversation on social media by using the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always go to my co anchors, Ewa Ritu and Benny Ag, and of course the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and be beautiful.